And now for our final contribution. It's with great interest that we now hear from our very special guest, the former England Rugby Union captain, Will Carling, OBE. In conversation with my colleague Heather McLean, he's going to talk about the Six Nations rugby and how the graphical representation of data can help fans and viewers better understand the complexities and nuances of decisions made both on and off the pitch. Rugby is such a physical game. That challenge of going out and playing as physically hard as you can but being completely in control mentally. And here, Will Carling leads on the England side. There's a respect and, and there's a discipline amongst players and fans. They're the sort of the echo that make you realize you're playing for your, your country and that's an incredible honor that you've been given. I used to love that part of it. I suggested to AWS that they should get involved in the Six Nations because younger fans seem to have a thirst for data. I think having key stats can explain exactly what happened in that game and where it was won and where it was lost. It's celebration time! The title of the Guinness Six Nations at the Principality Stadium. Rugby is a very simple sport, right? You run, you pass, you tackle. But at the same time, it has a lot of nuances. Technology is our friend here. We have so much more to bring to our fans. And I think that's what we're doing this year with AWS and Stats, providing insights for our fans to enjoy. It's moving from a data point to an insight. When we talk to broadcasters, they are really eager to get the right insights so that they can tell a better story and be very relevant as to what is going on on the pitch and explain to the fans back home. Rugby needs to be able to start offering that to younger fans and, and for them to understand and get excited about the game. As a fan, this is your time to really appreciate and get emotionally tied up in the game that I love. It's what sport, in a sense, is all about. Through their ability, their technology, the platform that AWS offer, all these things will become apparent to the fans, and I think that's going to be massively exciting. I'm Heather McLean, editor at SVG Europe, and I'm here today with Will Carling, OBE, former rugby union player. We're here today to talk about AWS Match Stats for Rugby, which were launched in 2020 during the global pandemic, adding to the seven that were launched in 2019. The new match stats were used either side of various lockdowns and are being used right now to illustrate the game to fans of the 2021 Six Nations Championship. So the stats are being used now for the 2021 season after a launch last year. How were they received last year in the midst of the pandemic? And what do these stats add for viewers at home who can't get into the stadiums right now? How important are they today, Will? I think they were really well received um, by um, a, whole, a whole range of fans because I, I think they, they gave an extra level of insight into what was happening um, on the pitch. Uh, I think, you know, we've suddenly, we've gone from just uh, an example being we've gone from looking at who made the most tackles to actually who made the crucial dominant tackles, which actually disrupt dis defences. So, so for fans of suddenly think, you know, they could work out who the disruptors were. And, you know, I thought, you know, that was, that's fascinating for them. So I think despite everything that was going on around, um, I, I think they managed to, uh, to add to the enjoyment of, of rugby fans during the Six Nations, which was, which was much needed. <laughs> yes, definitely. How much that's being used by broadcasters today to increase their storytelling capability and, and what, what more could they be doing with them, do you think? I think what the match stats um, enable um, broadcasters to do is, is bring to life what's happened in the game. You know, they're reviewing it. And I think it's like for all of us, you know, we sit and listen to people talk, you know, and that's great. But I think if you can then have a visual and, and we, can, we can see things that just it, it's clear it's you know, clarifying exactly the points they're making um, in, in terms of, of the data. I just think that actually it enhances it for, for all of us. And I think certainly for the pundits, it almost gives credence, you know, the data gives credence to, you know, um, what they've just been explaining to, to the audience. In terms of what could be done more, um, I'd love to think that, that rugby can, can get more of the match stats and, uh, and data and video clips out on social media. I think that's the way where the world is going. And I think, you know, the game is over. People go to the pub and they want to be experts in the pub. So, 
if, if we can give them that chance that, that, you know, little snippets that keep coming out. And even the next day, people are still debating, you know, um, you know, was it was it a good win? Was it not? Did they deserve it? You know, what did the ref make? And, and you think all that sort of uh, information and match stats out just it just carries the conversation on. And that's what sports fans love. Definitely, definitely. Especially over a pint. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> when, when allowed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Waiting for that. So once yeah. back in the stadium as well, which will hopefully happen, you know, in late spring, perhaps. How can these stats continue to enhance the experience of fans in the stadium? I think what they're doing, because it's so clever the way they're taking live data and, and putting it through you know, the computer um, software, you think it's actually... Although, although we're watching games, a lot of the time you think, oh, you know, this team's, you know, I don't know, I can't understand how they're ahead. And I think, you know, with visuals on, on the big screens, we can explain why certain teams have got momentum, why certain teams are suddenly in the ascendancy. Um, and I think even for, for fans, even though they're live and they're, and they're watching it, there are certain bits that still need to be explained and, and clarified. And I think, you know, I just, you know, I listened to, to even some of the best coaches you know, some of the data explains bits and pieces that you, you just don't see or mm. sometimes or don't understand what you've just watched. And I think that data that explains it and just, again, it just enhances the experience for rugby fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. And talking of fans and maybe people that aren't quite as into it as others, how can these stats help uh, make the game more accessible to those interested in the game, but with less knowledge or attract completely new fans for Six Nations? I think because a lot of time was spent making sure there was a real cross section of, of match stats that, um, you know, a lot of them explain some of the some of the basic um, principles of the game, you know, in terms of territory um, and in terms of who's been in, in the opposing halves and, you know, dominance and power. I think there's a great mix so that, you know, you, you're getting um, a good explanation of, of the basics of the game. But I think you've also got the next level, which are explaining some of the more intricate parts of, of rugby. So I think it just manages to um, explain and, and, and excite new fans. And I think it also still manages to, you know, the, the slightly more experienced fans and, and manage to actually give them more of an explanation as, as to why. Great. OK, and last question for you, Will. What match stat would you like AWS to come up with next? Uh, there's so many, but for me, I think if if we could get a um, a chip, a tracker in the ball, I think it would be fascinating because um, kicking is such an important part of the sport, um, and it is far more tactical than than maybe a lot of people think. I think hang time on kicks. Um, I think it would show passing accuracy, speed of passing. Um, it would show how defenses are beaten by you know clever passing, spin. Um, speed on ball I think it would just suddenly wow it, it would make rugby go sort of 3D rather than 2D and um, I'd love to see it and, I, and you know what I'm sure it's probably not very far away definitely not now you've voiced it <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> all right thank you very much Will pleasure